My name is Enrique Varela. I've been at Carmelite for uh, 25 years. I was raised at the border of Tijuana and San Diego, where I spent my earlier uh, years, and that's where I met the Carmelites. I was working uh, as a high school teacher in a, Carmel in a high school run by Carmelite Sisters. I came across a book called The Dark Knight, written by John of the Cross. Well, I was very interested in, in that book and what I was reading, especially the, the well, the beauty of the, of the poetry. Is I read it in Spanish. And since the uh, sisters the, who run the school were Carmelites, I started to ask them about John of the, more about John of the Cross. I wanted to get uh, to know him better and particularly about that book which spoke about detachment, spoke about uh, growing uh, spiritually, uh, getting to know God deeper. And I think that, that, uh, that at the age of uh, almost 30, that's what I was looking in my life. We were going to have a retreat led by a Carmelite, this, uh, Marco Pardo. And so I started to ask him a lot of questions about John of the Cross, about uh, the, the Carmelite spirituality. So he, we started talking. He invited me to get to know them. And after two years or a year and a half, he popped the question if I was interested in joining the Carmelite. And in 1998, I moved to start the pre-novitiate. The Holy Spirit touched me and it took away all my doubts uh, about not just the existence of God, but about my, my own spiritual journey. I remember telling myself, I hope this is a, this is a good fit for me because this is really uh, what, what I'm looking for. And so I moved in uh, the following year, 1999, I joined the novitiate. My knowledge of Carmelite spirituality started to grow. I made my first profession in the year 2000. And then that year I happened to go on a trip to the Holy Land with other 40 uh, Carmelite friars from around the world. So it was very meaningful. Not just being in the Holy Land, but also getting to know all those young men information with the same interests. And I, I started my internship in Joliet, Illinois, in Our Lady Mount Carmel Parish. Then the following year, I continued my internship experience in, in, uh, in LA, in a parish, in an inner city parish which was very meaningful because I had a very good uh, supervisor, Tracy O'Sullivan, who I really admired because of the way he puts together ministry and Carmelite spirituality. That was very enlightening for me. Uh, and I, it, was a, it was a phase of, the, of being Carmelite that I, was new to me. So I was really taken by, by that. And then uh, the following year, I started my theological studies in Washington, D.C. Then I didn't know what I wanted to do uh, for the rest of my life regarding ministry. So the, the only thing that I was sure is that I wanted to be a Carmelite friar like John of the Cross. And that I wanted to live a dark night. I didn't know what I, what I was asking. And God... Grant me not just one dark night, but many dark nights through my uh, years in formation and, and as a Carmelite friar once uh, suddenly professed. Didn't give up because in my heart I really wanted to be like John of the Cross. And I was ordained and you know I said it doesn't matter really where I will go to do uh, my ministry, you know, as long as I'm a Carmelite. So my first assignment was back in Joliet uh, at the parish. I was a, a parochial vicar. And uh, it was, I learned a lot because it's a very poor uh, Latino parish. Um, founded since day one for the migrant community. In the meantime, I was studying 
uh, pastoral counseling in uh, at Loyola in Chicago. So I became also um, a pastoral counselor, and I started working as a mental health counselor at Cook County Jail for three years, which is was a wonderful experience, really meaningful. Uh, I, you know, to me that was living out the the prophetic dimension of the Carmelites. Uh, just being there with with a very uh, broken young man and how open they were to 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 accept the help that we could provide for them and and learn from their experiences so it was it really marked my my, my life as a as a minister and looking back I think you know, when I first started the Carmelites, to me, it was mainly prayer. It was uh, the life of prayer, the inner life, the uh, psycho-spiritual dimension of myself, and, and but nothing, not so much about ministry. So when I was there in the field, in, in doing ministry, I really fell in love with uh, what I was doing. And what I am actually what I'm doing right now, which is also I'm back at Our Lady Mont Carmel Parish in Joliet, working with this migrant community, with a lot of uh, you know social issues that migrants um, can have. I live my um, prophetic vocation as a Carmelite, and obviously. Uh, we cannot leave behind prayer. Prayer is essential in, in my life. I feel very uh, identified with the Carmelite spirituality still after all uh, those years because of the, what I'm doing with my life of prayer and with, and with my life of ministry, which is, you know, the, the prophetic the dimension of the Carmelite spirituality.